Hello YouTubers, how are you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me again. This is the update after the update. So as promised, I'll show you the finished product now. On our last video we did, we, we constructed some uh, simple line side or um, roadside embankments, some grass embankments that you saw me do there. So now it's all finished, I'll show you the finished product. We come over here. There we are. That don't look bad, does it? I say what I've done, I've vacuumed off all the excess um, scatter material, so it's all nice and solid on there now. I've added a little bit of vegetation, as you can see from around there. Little spot there, and then I've left it pretty empty until you get down towards the bridge abutment down there, which is there. And also I've added this tree that has suddenly sprung to life overnight here that now lives there looks quite effective I think and my choice was not to overpopulate it with vegetation just leave it sort of naturally grassy as is and you notice on this shot here I'll bring this in you see I've got some white bits poking through well that actually in real life can be chalk or limestone underneath so that looks quite good now as you can see that looks quite effective so I'm happy with that and then what I've done as well I've painted the back of the the board there just a nice base colored gray I suppose you can call it that I've used it on the scenic boards over there the back scene boards have got the same paint so I used it on there and why not also I went a little bit mad today and I thought while well, I'm in the construction mood uh, if you look at my previous videos, I did the goods yard, which is obviously over here. But there was no way of getting, obviously, from this area, it sort of terminated. Well, it doesn't now, because if I take you on a little tour, I'll show you what I've built today. I've built this little alleyway. Where is it? There we go, it's better, isn't it? Right, we start here. So you can technically walk off the street. Now you can walk down this alleyway here. And you can carry straight on through the imaginary point beyond there. Or if you follow the little pathway around, You now walk along this pathway here. It's got vegetation on all sides. Let me put the light on for you guys so you can see at home. That's a bit better, isn't it? So as you can see, you walk along this pathway here. I've added some vegetation and you go right up now into the coal yard. Into the wards into the goods depot, should I say. Stroke coal yard. So we've got the coal, coal merchants on this side, obviously, there and we've now got the goods depot on the left hand side as normal but the main thing is you can now walk straight from the the goods yard basically you can walk down this alleyway which I've constructed there you can walk all the way back now along there round there round there and it's a little side cut to the main road right so, this vegetation here now, that's growing against this brick wall, this, these could be blackberry bushes, I would imagine. And all I did was basically some of the backing board that we used for the, the hillside or roadside embankment that I showed you in the previous video, I had some of that left, so I thought why not make some strips and start marrying up a section from there all the way to there and then put an L shape across to meet up with the coal yard or the goods depot. So I did that, simply add some wheel scenic brick sheets left over, cut those to size, glued them in place and then suitably added some vegetation. The whole thing took me about start to finish, I suppose about four hours to make and put down glue in place and finally finish 
the, the paving uh, slabs are actually still drying as I speak so they're a little bit wet but they're more or less touch dry and uh, again they're a wheel scenic item this painted suitable colour and I'm leaving this ash ballast colour material up towards the grimy coal yard and I'm quite happy with that and it's like a little atrium I feel actually so I've encased my homemade uh, little panel here I can still reach in and activate these switches um, I can do a little trick as well underneath of my fingers so it does work and I'm happy um, I've designed it around the switches basically so that's free and easy to get to and if you look at an aerial shot a bit like Google Earth I suppose um, you can see we've got a pathway as you can see an alleyway if you like that runs all the way round and into the area here and obviously if you want to carry on walking you just go down past the goods yard past the Weybridge hut through the level crossing gate and then down the scenic country lane and into oblivion anyway just a quick video compared to my last one and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon. Take care and happy modelling and I hope you enjoyed that little construction update.